Norton's used to dress explorers and adventurers. When cursed by Tutankhamun, Lord Carnarvon was wearing their tweeds. Where is it this time? Well, we're, we're going to um, the Amazon as part of Bolivia to look for a meat choice. Today, Colonel Blashford Snell brings his exploring suit in for an overhaul before he takes it up the Amazon. This is the um, explorer's suit. It's designed to be used in all terrains and pretty well all climates. And I've worn this in the Antarctic. I've worn it in extremely hot conditions and certainly in jungle. And it's got all sorts of features on it. On the back pocket, you have a zip. A chap tried to pick my pocket on Green Park tube station. Oh, I was hoping you were going to say in the Amazon. Green I know, Park? In England. And, I, and of course, he couldn't get in. I could feel this chap, and I spun around and was about to chop him down. He ran for his life. <laughs> of course, he'd never met a man with a zip uh, across the back pocket. But in the Amazon, you certainly need it. You always want to have a, a secret device. <laughs> You can't lose it. I'm not so interested in the style or the fashion, but what I am interested in is something that will last and, and, uh, and be comfortable to wear. By the time the pool staff have gone to ground, Colonel Blashford Snell will be up the jungle. Before that, the septuagenarian hoodie wants some adjustments made. Um, actually, what I would do is make this fuller so that it could come up if you unbold it a bit, and perhaps have it a bit higher. It might be quite useful, thinking about it, to have a hook under here. Um, Does it help when you are an explorer, an adventurer like yourself, if you look like one? If you suddenly have to look smart, you're told that there's a, a chief who's come for miles and miles and miles and come to see you, and you can quickly do up your shirt, put on a tie, and then you eat him and you think, God, he's a man wearing a tie. <laughs> And, and it does it must be insane. Yeah. Um, yes. But that's important. But I don't think they really ever heard of explorers. I mean, the only explorers they will ever have seen possibly were Colonel Fawcett, and he disappeared in 1925. When he returns from his expedition, the Colonel may not recognise his beloved row. I hope that the Savile Row doesn't go. It's a great tradition of Britain. And um, it's a place where if you want the very best in the world, you come.